Amid the untouched wilderness of Midian, Moses seeks refuge from a past fraught with challenges. Here, in the embrace of nature, he finds not just solace but a sense of belonging, tending to his flock with the care of one who understands the value of freedom. Each day unfolds under the expansive sky, a testament to the simplicity of existence. Yet Moses' eyes, ever watchful, betray a soul still searching, yearning for a purpose beyond the pastures of Midian. Driven by a force unseen, Moses navigates the wilderness, his heart guided by a flicker of light amidst the shadows of the desert. What draws him is more than curiosity, it is a call to the very depths of his soul. There in a clearing stands a marvel of creation, a bush engulfed in flames yet untouched by their fury. It is a sight that defies the laws of nature, a beacon of the divine calling out to Moses from the flames. As the voice calls out, Moses, Moses, from the midst of the flames, the shepherd finds himself on hallowed ground. The voice, both comforting and commanding, beckons him closer, marking the beginning of a covenant that will change the course of history. I have seen the suffering of my people, declares the Lord, and have come down to deliver them. These words, spoken with the weight of centuries of sorrow, ignite a flame within Moses, a call to rise beyond himself, to become the instrument of divine will. Yet, even as the mantle of leadership is laid upon him, Moses hesitates, burdened by self-doubt. Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh? he asks. In this moment of vulnerability lies the essence of faith, the courage to embrace one's destiny despite the shadows of doubt. With each assurance from God, Moses' resolve strengthens, his doubts tempered by the promise of divine presence. I will be with you, the voice declares, a covenant of support for the challenges ahead. And so, Moses steps forth from the wilderness, a shepherd no longer but a leader of nations. Under the celestial gaze of countless stars, Moses contemplates the enormity of his calling. The desert, vast and silent, mirrors his isolation, a man wrestling with destiny. In the quiet of the night, his doubts whisper like the wind, questioning his ability to fulfill the task ahead. Yet, in the flickering light, a transformation unfolds within Moses. The same fire that once called him from the bush now burns within, a beacon guiding him through the darkness of doubt. Who am I, he ponders, not as a question of worth, but as a realization of the role he has been chosen to play. With the dawn comes a new resolve. Moses, once a shepherd, now embraces his role as a leader chosen by the divine. The path ahead is fraught with challenges, but he steps forward, guided by a faith stronger than fear, ready to confront his destiny and lead his people to freedom. Before the elders of Israel, Moses stands, a testament to the change wrought within him. With a voice strengthened by conviction, he recounts his divine encounter, his words painting the air with the promise of deliverance. But faith requires more than words. It demands signs. As his staff becomes a serpent, slithering on the desert sand, the people's doubt gives way to awe. Here lies the power of the divine, manifest in signs and wonders, a message carved in the annals of faith that God stands with Moses, and thus with all of Israel. With each sign, Moses weaves a tapestry of faith and certainty, his once reluctant leadership now underpinned by the undeniable. The leprosy, appearing and vanishing at his command, serves not only as proof of his divine commission, but as a symbol of the healing and liberation to come for his people. In the sanctuary of his tent, Moses bids farewell to the life he has known. Each embrace with his family is a silent promise of return, a moment of personal sacrifice laid at the altar of a greater cause. The leader who emerged from the desert now prepares to confront an empire. The journey that lies ahead is one of uncertainty and peril, a path that demands everything of Moses. Yet in the eyes of his family, there is understanding, a shared recognition of the necessity of his departure. For in his heart burns the fire of liberation, a flame that cannot be quenched until his people are free. As the first light of dawn breaks over the horizon, a new chapter in the history of Israel begins. 
Moses stands before his people, not just as a leader, but as a symbol of hope and divine promise. The Exodus is not just a journey of miles, but of faith, a trek from bondage to freedom, guided by the hand of God through the leadership of Moses. In the heart of Egypt's splendor, Moses and Aaron stand before Pharaoh, the embodiment of earthly power. Here the divine mandate meets human obstinacy, a clash of wills on a stage set by history. Moses, once a prince of Egypt, now speaks as a prophet of the Israelites, his voice carrying the weight of their suffering. Who is the Lord, that I should obey his voice to let Israel go? Pharaoh's challenge echoes through the court, a defiance born of power, unchecked by humility. In this moment, the battle lines are drawn, not just for the freedom of a people, but for the acknowledgement of the divine. Undaunted by the scorn of Pharaoh, Moses stands firm, his staff raised not as a weapon, but as a testament to his faith. For in this confrontation, it is not the might of empires that will decide the fate of the Israelites, but the will of the God who has called Moses from the burning bush. With the turning of the Nile's waters into blood, the first plague unfolds as a dire portent of what is to come. This river, the source of Egypt's life and prosperity, now bears the stain of Pharaoh's obstinance, a nation held captive by the stubbornness of its ruler. The ninth plague brings darkness so profound it can be felt, a blanket of divine disfavor that covers Egypt. In this darkness lies the ultimate manifestation of Pharaoh's spiritual blindness, a nation plunged into the shadow of its own making while the light of deliverance shines upon the Israelites. The Passover marks the culmination of God's wonders in Egypt, a solemn ritual that signifies both deliverance and judgment. As the angel of death passes over the homes marked by faith, the cry of Egypt echoes the cost of defiance against the divine, a sorrow that finally breaks Pharaoh's resolve. As the first rays of dawn pierce the darkness, the Israelites embark on their journey to freedom, a people united by faith and the promise of a land flowing with milk and honey. This exodus, led by Moses, is not merely an escape from bondage, but a march towards destiny, guided by the hand of God. Moses, once a fugitive in the desert, now leads his people towards the promised land, his heart bearing the promises of God. Each step away from Egypt is a step towards fulfilling his destiny, a journey of faith that began in the solitude of the wilderness, before a bush that burned, but was not consumed. Before them lies the Red Sea, an obstacle as daunting as the chains of Egypt. Yet, behind them, the thunder of Pharaoh's chariots reminds them of the power of faith over fear. For Moses and the Israelites, the sea is not a barrier, but a gateway to their covenant with God, a passage to a future written in the stars above the Midian Desert. At the precipice of the Red Sea, the Israelites face the culmination of their escape, a barrier of water before them, and the echo of Pharaoh's chariots behind. It is a moment of despair, a test of faith at the threshold of deliverance. In the face of the impossible, Moses extends his hand over the sea, his staff a conduit of divine will. As the waters part, a path is forged, a testament to the power of faith over fear. The Israelites, witnesses to the miracle, step onto the seabed, enveloped by towering walls of water. With each step on the seabed, the Israelites embrace their journey from bondage to freedom, a passage marked by divine intervention. Behind them, Pharaoh's army, ensnared by their own hubris, marches into the divine trap, a folly that seals their fate. With the collapse of the waters, the threat of Pharaoh's army is washed away, leaving the Israelites in awe of the miracle witnessed. From stunned silence to jubilant praise, the air resonates with their song of deliverance, a hymn to the God who parted the seas and led them to freedom. Miriam, prophetess and sister of Moses, leads the women in dance, their tambourines ringing out in harmony with the song of the sea. It is a moment of communal rebirth, the forging of a nation's identity, not in the shadows of pyramids, but in the light of divine deliverance. As Moses watches his people celebrate, a sense of peace fills him, a momentary respite on the journey to the promised land. 
The road ahead is long, and challenges await. But the miracle of the Red Sea stands as an eternal beacon of hope, a promise of divine guidance and protection. Guided by the pillars of cloud and fire, the Israelites journey through the desert, a people tested by trials, yet bound by a profound faith. Each step on the sand is a step towards Sinai, towards a covenant that will shape their destiny and echo through history. Moses, once a shepherd in Midian, now shepherds a nation through the wilderness. The journey has transformed him, as it has his people. Ahead lies Sinai, and with it, the next chapter of their covenant with God, a testament to the enduring power of faith and the promise of a land flowing with milk and honey. As the stars bear witness to the journey of the Israelites, their light whispers of the trials and triumphs of faith. The story of Moses from the burning bush to the shores of the promised land remains a beacon of hope and deliverance, a reminder of the power of the divine to guide and protect through the darkest of seas and the deepest of deserts.